my name is Aaron Bob. I'm to Bob Buzz, channel I share with y'all my part time reselling journey here in the state of Virginia. I'm here with Victoria from Super Geeks. Hello. And Jess from Gorgeous talking to her lovely little daughter. Um, we're going to go to uh, some Goodwill here in Bull. Not, let's Ocean see, we're in Springs. Ocean Springs now. Yeah. Okay, here in Mississippi and see what I can find. So this is the Ocean Springs Goodwill here in Mississippi. And I am so impressed because as soon as I walked in the door, I found a pair of Rock Republic jeans. I have never found Rock Republic jeans, but I do know they sell well thanks to Amber from Amber Resells. And then here is some Gerbeau. I don't know what it was this trip, but I was just a magnet for Gerbeau. And here I am flipping through the men's because, well, that's what I really enjoy selling. Here is a vintage Levi's piece. And I thought about getting it, um, but then I decided no. And I'm flipping through the racks, looking to see if there's anything else good. Ooh, hello, Columbia. Oh, that is a PFG fishing shirt, if I ever saw one. Ooh, and an XLT. <laughs> yeah, I already had another one. So absolutely, I will pick both of those up. So here I am flipping through the men's racks and again choosing one of the most unflattering angles to film myself. I did bring a tripod with me uh, in my suitcase. Did I ever bring it with me on any of my thrifting trips? No. <laughs> but I normally actually flip a lot faster through these racks. If you see here I'm making space for myself because there were people around me. This is a vintage rustler piece that I found, but it did have some boo-boos or I would have gladly picked it up. I love selling vintage Western Pearl snaps. Here's the tag, their old rustler tag. This one had a hole and it also had some paint on the back, which I don't show you, but I did show you the little hole. So as you can see, I go back to my stance, making space for myself. Um, I'm 5'9", so it's pretty easy to keep my space. So I just hold one arm open uh, with my lovely footballer shoulders and I flip through the racks that way and my cart is actually to my left so I basically created a box for myself I apparently do this unconsciously but I do remember Matt from Thrift Life saying that he does something very similar where you just have to like stand your ground and keep your space especially if you're in a crowded and here's another vintage piece but unfortunately this wrestler piece also had something wrong with it uh, but look at those colors this had paint on it as well. It had another paint spot uh, down on the left-hand side. So, man, I would have loved to have sold those pieces. Vintage Pearl Snaps do really well for me. Checking that tag to see if it was worth anything. Left it dough. And I just keep flipping. But what is this? What are you? You look, you look nice. Maybe I'll take you with me. I don't know yet. Nope, never mind. There's Gorgeous. Victoria. No. Why didn't Why didn't you want this, Victoria? Vintage Sag Harbor. I've got so many vintage blazers. That's cute though. I just saw one re like uh, two days ago, like that. That's a twenty-four. Women's with I know, wool. I sold the same size. Oh, that's so cool. Bit, yeah, well, my, most vintage pieces do. Yeah. They get a lot. A lot of vintage in here. Yeah, I saw that. I found that reversible raincoat. Have you seen that? That orange and then it's gingham and then you can flip it and it's just solid like a tomato red or an orange. Mm -mm. Oh my god, it's so cute and it's belted. It's like a trench. But I got that in here. Okay, I've got to find What this. is this? Oh, it's Torrid and a four. I'm trying to find a style number though. Uh, it's like stained. Oh, it's a Torrid. Oh, that's cool. Here is my uh, total climbing up there pretty high. I ended up spending, I think, $96 at this store. And Victoria was checking out the side. Look how pretty she is. Oh, I love her face so much. Okay, so after cleaning up at the thrift store, uh, we have cleaned up, or I should say they did. I didn't do anything. Look at, look at how cute Jesse hey. looks. You are cute. Uh, we are going to go now to Dubaio and meet up. Dubaio. Bayou. Dubaio. <laughs> Dubaio. <laughs> Dubaio. <laughs> and uh, do this reseller gathering that Alicia and Victoria is hosting. 
Let's go dance. We were juggling balls or boobs. <laughs> Something. <laughs> All right, let's go. Left your party at sundown. You would know where to be found. Zip my bottle, heading uptown. quite large so I'm gonna to try to go through this very quickly also it's not uh, all dry yet so uh, yeah so the first thing I'm gonna show you are the, the, the still moist pieces and I know that there are some of you that don't like that word and uh, I do so that's why I said it this is a Zara man the reason I purchased this is because this is 100% linen and also has these interesting elbow patch pockets uh, also, it was super cheap because everything here in Mississippi is very cheap. So I think it's $3.89 for a shirt. Uh, so that's why I bought that. I bought this because it's cute and I'm just going to wear it until it sells. This is also 100% linen and it is like this gray green color, which you guys know I love both of those. And it has this lovely pattern to it. Uh, it's got fans and characters. Uh, it's by Tom Tom. I've never heard of this brand, but it's linen and it's a cute little shirt and I am happy to wear it until it sells. So those are still wet. Uh, linen cannot be put in the dryer, which is why they're still wet. The next pieces are pieces that I could not wash um, because they need to be dry clean only. This is a Adre Crew piece and the only reason I picked this up is because as you can see it is a hundred percent merino wool it has no problems and it's in a nice size xl vest so that's good for the upcoming season and this actually was found by victoria from super geek this is a vintage trina turk piece this is a hundred percent silk i don't know i've never sold this brand uh, so i don't know how this is going to do but i will take it home and give it a go this is also my first time finding uh, fire resistant apparel. I know Alicia from Married Life talks about this all the time. This is a bulwark protective apparel. Uh, and it does have the thing right here that says FR, which means fire resistant. And this is a very heavy XL piece. And there is Jess photo bombing my video. <laughs> Don't be. <laughs> Uh, she's staying in the same place I am. So, yeah, I found that. Uh, those are actually selling between $25 and $30, which I was very surprised by, but I'm guessing that's why Alicia picks that stuff up. This uh, was found by Jess, who just left. Cute little, uh, this is like a, I think an Anthro brand postmark. Yep, this is a, a double zero though, so I don't know how this will sell, but it's super cute. It has this lovely pin tucking in the front and this little olives, um, or they're either olives or they're ping pong paddles. I can't tell, but it's cute either way. And it's dirt cheap. This I bought to wear until it sells. This is apparently a band called the Guess Who. I bought it because one, it would fit me, two, this is totally my style, uh, and three, the graphic is amazing. So I will wear that until it sells. Uh, this is a Rock Revival. This is my first time finding a pair of Rock Revival jeans. Uh, this brand isn't really in my area. Uh, I know this from Amber Resells, who is another amazing lady reseller, but this has a great pockets, like nice decoration of the pockets, some factory distressing, as well as the Rock Revival logo there, and then there as well. So. Give a try. Uh, editing Bob here. <laughs> While I'm watching the footage, I realize that I'm a big dum dum, and it's not Rock Revival denim that I found. It's Rock and Republic denim, 
I, when I looked at the patch pocket I just pointed out, I can read. Apparently I could not read in the store, but I can read now. And it's Rockin' Republic denim. It still sells between $20 and $25, so it's still a good pickup, but wasn't quite the bolo I thought it was going to be. Because um, Rock Revival can sell between $40 and $50. So an okay sale, but not a home run, and I still haven't found uh, Rock Revival at all. This is my third piece of Gerbo for being down here, but these are just as loud and obnoxious as the, the jeans I found yesterday. They have a nice big spell down there in the bottom. Um, these ones actually don't have anything wrong with them, but these are a size 32. Uh, and they've got Gerbo everywhere inside. But yeah, that's pretty awesome. This is a vintage piece. Women's, again, something I can wear, but you know, the vintage puff sleeve pieces have done very well and gone very quickly uh, when I put them up for sale. This is Cheryl Teague's, I think. Uh, it was made in the USC, USA. It's a size 10, which is like a modern medium. So happy about that. And then I found a vintage Sears Fieldmaster piece. I have bought and sold Fieldmaster before. Um, it does pretty well for me, especially these flannel pieces and this lovely regular lumberjack patterning. So that'll move pretty quickly, especially as we are moving into fall. I picked this up because it is uh, a snap Vans shirt. This is a size XL and a good size. I picked it up mainly because it had this Vans embroidery logo on it. It's a pretty good men's basic. Another vintage women's piece. This one will require me to take it home and do some stain treatment to it. I'd washed it once and it unfortunately needs my special touch, but it does have a mark here on the back. I don't know if you can see that or not, but otherwise this is perfect. I can just take this home and see if I can work my magic on it. And I found this and I about lost my mind because uh, I remember this from the 90s. Uh, <laughs> It's uh, No Fear. By the way, Total Bolo, if you find No Fear anything, especially find the No Fear vintage t-shirts, those sell amazing for really good money. Um, these button-ups, even just the basic button-ups, are selling between 25 and 30. So, And it's a good size. It's a nice large. Pretty excited to see that. This is my first time finding that brand in the wild. And then we got a basic Levi's. Western Pearl Snap shirt in an XL. But I think this, this has to be like a women's XL because this would fit me. Like there's no way this is a dude's XL. Oh, this is a children's XL. Hmm. Ah. Uh, whoops. Well, that's fun. I made a mistake. And that happens. Uh, two Columbia PFGs in the same size, XLT, which is why I picked them up. They're also, like, the, like I said, the PFG with the vented back and lovely fishing pockets. These always move very well for me. And I got one in the baby blue and in white. And then I found, of course, an Adidas piece in a size 32. These are the Gulf. And again, this is because this is a performance piece that has the equipment logo. That's what this logo for Adidas is called, is the equipment logo. The other one is the Trifoil logo, and that's the original sign. On this beautiful vintage Chaps Ralph Lauren piece, these loud obnoxious pieces are the ones that I will still pick up because they will move. You see how it's got the spell out literally all over it? Yeah, this is what I pick up. And it's a great size because this is in a XL. And then I picked this up mostly for myself to wear until it sells. I don't mind, um, you know, buying stuff for resale if I know it might sit for a while, especially if I'm going to wear it myself. This is a Madewell piece and an extra small, but it is very oversized if I can wear it, which I can. So that is what I'm going to do until it sells. I was so sad when I went shopping 
uh, for this trip because I found so many amazing vintage Western Pearl Snap shirts, but all of them were messed up. This is the only vintage Pearl Snap that I picked up that was actually not messed up and it's a Eli Plains Western Wear shirt. Actually, this isn't a vintage one. The other ones were vintage. The modern one was the one that wasn't messed up. Um, Pearl Snaps, regular Western Wear. And then we have a Lucky Brand Pearl Snap. Again, modern, men's medium. This is more of a flannel material. And then a brand I haven't found in a while. This is Affliction. So, Affliction is still selling. This is a smaller size, even though it says large. But this is as garish as possible. And the more garish the piece, the faster I have noticed that it sells. So I will have to figure out if this is men's or women's. But yeah. That is my haul uh, for this other thrift trip over in Ocean Springs Goodwill. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.